Oh, <laughs> there you are. Hi, everybody. Hello there. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? I hope you are feeling good and happy. And here we are again, all together on YouTube. Can you see what I'm doing at the moment? I'm in the garden doing a little bit of bird watching. We have birds nesting all around the garden at the moment. Yesterday, I noticed that there, there is a pair of dunnocks at the moment building a nest in my garden. So I was rather excited to see that, as you can imagine. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I've been looking around the garden. I've been watching nature. And at the moment, there is lots to watch because it is late spring, early summer, I suppose. A lot of people here in the UK are commenting on the weather. They are saying, how amazing is the weather at the moment? Even though, unfortunately, most people are now having to stay indoors you know why we all know why to be honest so i've spent a little bit of time outside looking around at all of the nature in the garden and i must admit it is a nice way to spend your time even if you are in the house you can look outside your window and i'm sure somewhere you can actually see nature doing its thing i think so so that's what i've been doing if you have a pair of binoculars like these you can actually look at anything really you can look at the birds you can look at the wildlife as it walks around maybe there is a very attractive girl who lives opposite you and at night she likes to stand by the window and wave to you <laughs> no maybe not probably not a good idea to do that so please don't say that mr duncan told me to do it mr duncan said go on look at the girl who lives opposite please don't do that it is illegal it is not allowed and you will probably go to prison mm, very interesting i'm just watching you at the moment just to make sure you are behaving yourself just to make sure you are safe distancing are you are you keeping your distance i really really hope so during this very strange time so here we are again we are here all together again on youtube it is nice to see you here today <laughs> nice to see you nice i would imagine that no one understands the reference that i just made there was a famous comedian called Bruce Forsyth and every time he came onto the stage he always said the same thing. It's a little bit like me really so whenever I start my lessons I always say hi everybody this is Mr Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. Bruce Forsyth, a very well-known entertainer, sadly no longer with us unfortunately but he used to have a very famous catchphrase he would come on and he would say good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show nice to see you to see you and then the audience would say nice has that helped your day in any way at least you didn't know that a few minutes ago, but now you do, you see? Ah, they say, Mr. Duncan, you are a fountain of knowledge. I always try my best. I do. Hello to the live chat. I am just putting the live chat on. So hello to everyone on the live chat. It is nice to see you here. Hello, Connell. Hello also to Vitas. You were first on today's live stream nice to see you here nice to see you to see you nice so you say nice after I 
say the catchphrase nice to see you to see you did you say it okay one more time so when I say nice to see you to see you you say nice so I want to hear you shout out of your windows open your windows now so here we go we'll try one more time nice to see you to see you oh <laughs> I could hear you then I actually heard someone shouting nice Ooh, very good it's nice to see you all here again today during these very strange times I know it is continuing we are still in the strange times however you may have noticed that some parts of the world are now starting to relax the lockdown so in some parts of the world they have now said that certain shops certain types of business can open again here in the UK it's pretty much the same everything is locked down so we will be in lockdown for quite a while to come hello to the live chat once more nice to see so many people here today I always like to say hello to you mr. Duncan you are slightly out of breath it's my age you see when I get up in the morning and I put my socks on the first thing I do in the morning is always put my socks on because I don't like my feet being cold in the morning so that's what I do in the morning I put my socks on but afterwards I'm completely exhausted I have to lie down on the bed for another 20 minutes to recover from putting my socks on so it is my age that is it nothing more nothing less hello Jennifer Jennifer Hortado nice to see you here as well hello nice to see you back on the live stream also Helena Plotina hello Plotina Phil I like your name Plotina it sounds like a type of flower is it a type of flower it sounds like some sort of flower to me Vanessa do you have a beautiful garden at your house yes this is well this is my house at the moment I am standing here in my little gazebo because it's very windy today if you were watching yesterday you would have seen the wind blowing well you would have seen it and heard it to be honest because the trees were going all over the place so it is windy again you will notice behind me everything is blowing around behind me so yes it is another windy day here in England I hope where you are there is a little bit of sunshine at least hello also to Anna Rita hello Mika hi Mika I was talking about Japan yesterday one of the things I would love to do is go to Japan and ride on the bullet train I've always been a very big fan of the bullet train in Japan so it's been one of my little dreams in the back of my mind one day I will travel it 200 miles an hour on the bullet train in Japan hello Christina I have a pair of binoculars but they are not the same as yours I can look out of the window and see into the distance the sea so you can see the sea with your binoculars that's great <laughs> you can also see the mountains and also your neighbors yeah you have to be careful really if someone sees you with a pair of binoculars quite often they will be a little suspicious they might be wondering what you are up to what are you doing with those binoculars are you watching the birds are you watching the trees are you looking at the nature around you or are you watching those ladies over there who are sunbathing <gasps> you should be ashamed of yourself hmm, very nice oh oh lovely oh oh yes oh yes I can see a couple of blue tits so here we go 
today we are talking about quite a few things we are also talking about ability I think this is a very interesting subject actually actually so today I want you to tell me something that something you can do so when I say something you can do I mean something you are able to do maybe some sort of ability something unique so maybe you can do something that other people can't do so is there something you can do something unusual maybe some people do have unusual skills for example I have a very unusual skill it is completely useless however I can make my eyebrows move independently so you can see now my eyebrows are moving independently so this always causes hours of amusement for everyone around me they always like to see my eyebrows going up and down so people are always amazed by my magic eyebrows Ooh, mr. Duncan how do you do that I don't know how I do it but I can it is something I am able to do something you can do and I suppose we can have the opposite as well something you can't do is there something that you can't do maybe there is a certain skill or a certain ability that you don't have but you wish you did I will give you an example so something I can do is move my eyebrows like this something I can't do is play a musical instrument so I can't actually play any musical instrument it's one of the things that I've always wanted to be able to do but I can't play a musical instrument I have no ability something I can do is teach English of course I can talk to you every day during this strange period of time I will be with you every day don't forget so that is another thing that I can do something I can do and something I can't do something you are able to do something that you have the ability to do and something you don't have the ability to do something you can't do something you can do and that is something for us to think about today we are now live on YouTube my name is mr. Duncan I teach English by the way I've been doing this forever for such a long time let me tell you many many years thank you very much to the live chat mr. Duncan I like your t-shirt I love your smiling face do you mean this smiling face or this smiling face I have a feeling that you mean this <laughs> not this Florence is here I have just learned that my oldest daughter has the I'm sorry to hear that I hope she's all right it is very sad news a lot of people at the moment are being affected by this some people don't even realize that they've been affected by that thing the thing that everyone is talking about at the moment hello Mona mr. Duncan it is the best time of the day thanks for bringing joy to our homes learning English is so fun with you thank you Mona that's very kind of you to say thank you very much and that is a lovely message and I also like your smiley icon your little emoji next to your name is also a smiling face a little bit like my t-shirt hello Ari mr. Duncan I suggest that you divide your live stream into one hour standing and one hour sitting because standing for two hours is not healthy I love standing up 
I know it sounds crazy and strange but I don't know why but when I stand up I can actually concentrate and do things better I don't know why I can feel that the blood is going around the whole of my body however when I sit down if I sit down for too long half of my body feels like it's going to sleep so that's it really so I do often stand up it is something that I was very well known for when I was teaching in schools people would always say Mr Duncan why do you always stand up you never sit down we never see you sitting down so I hope that answers your question if I ever feel tired don't worry I will never push myself too far so don't worry that I will make myself ill I will never do anything that will put myself at risk hello Heba hello from Egypt a big hello to Egypt nice to see you today Ivan nice to see you mr. Duncan do you remember me Ivan hello Ivan the answer is your second name that is the answer to your question I have watched the show that Bruce Forsyth used to host and I learned a lot to say the numbers says Wilson Bruce Forsyth was one of the first entertainers to become very big and famous on television many many years ago we are going way back in time way back in time all the way to Curdle Creek hello Vitesse hello also Marina hello Adwa hi Mr Duncan hi Mr Duncan so good you said it twice so good you said it twice oh Alisa is very smart and a little bit sophisticated I see ah, Alisa says I have night vision binoculars <laughs> I, I really don't want to know why I feel very afraid I feel very anxious to ask why you have night vision binoculars what are you doing walking around at night with binoculars why do you need to see what is going on in the dark with your binoculars I'm I'm almost afraid to ask the question I hope it has something to do with the wildlife maybe you like to go out at night and look at the nocturnal creatures that are walking around I hope so anyway hello also Anapika Lewis I never managed to be the first one my finger is not so fast hello to Vitas Anapika you were nearly the first but you really do have to have a very fast finger your finger has to be like Superman's finger I imagine Superman if he was using his computer he would have a very fast finger it would be much faster than that it would it would be invisible because he would be clicking so fast hello Beatrice it is very nice Adela Adelina hello Adelina nice to see you here as well Ramiro is here nice to see you as well hello to Noemi from Mika sorry for yesterday I didn't notice your comment about Mount Fuji we call it Fujisan in Japanese it can be seen from my window so you can see Mount Fuji from your window Wow, that's incredible would you like to swap places maybe I can go to Japan and live there and you can come here and stand in my very windy garden hello also Palmyra hello to Feden Christina Mohen also Adwa Wow so many people here already I love your t-shirt I love this smiling face thank you very much sometimes you have to have a smile on your face and a spring in your step wherever you are in the world and whatever is happening to you oh by the way I've just remembered something would you like to share a little moment with me 
Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Here it comes. Can I say a big happy birthday to the Queen? The Queen of England. It is her birthday today. Your Royal Highness, Your Majesty. Oh, you are so super duper and brilliant. Hello to the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II. There was another Elizabeth a long time ago, but she wasn't around quite as long as this lady. The Queen of England is another year older. She is almost, she's almost as old as Mr. Steve. Almost. She is 94 today. The Queen of England is another year older and she's still there. She's still sitting on her big throne. Well, actually at the moment she isn't because she's in Scotland during this, you know, period of time so thank you very much to the queen of england for being the queen of england you have been really good as the queen of england i hope one day i can be the queen of england or maybe the queen of much wenlock actually come to think of it that's what people are already saying <laughs> yes love you see the Queen of England is another year older and there is her crown that actually is the crown that the Queen wears so there it is you can see the Queen's crown so happy birthday once again to the Queen of England I suppose we should have a moment <sighs> do, 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 our lovely queen she is so nice and she wears lovely shoes everywhere she goes smells of wet paint that's actually true the queen thinks that all buildings in the uk smell like wet paint because that's what they do just before the queen visits anywhere they will always paint the place they will always paint the building so whenever the queen goes anywhere she can always smell wet paint yeah. what a strange life that must be happy birthday to the queen the biggest queen in england well okay <laughs> there might be one or two others so from one old queen to another happy birthday mom and many more many many more okay can I have my MBE now can I have my knighthood I want it to be sir mr. Duncan no <sighs> maybe next year maybe next year who knows so I hope you're feeling good today are there any things that you can do are there any things that you have a special ability to do happy birthday to the queen but she could retire and then william will be the new king no lil that is actually not true prince charles prince charles will actually become the king of england so if something happens to the queen if one day she is walking down the road and she trips over and she says oh oh I've, oh I've hurt my leg oh 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 I can't get up oh I don't think I want to be the Queen anymore because my leg hurts and then she says oh okay, okay Charles Charles you can now be the Queen of England all right and then Prince Charles will say uh, uh, okay then yes very good very good yeah so, so, Prince Charles uh, this is how he speaks you see when, when Prince Charles is talking this is this is how Prince Charles talks. Hello. Hello, I'm Prince Charles. Very pleased to meet you. Very pleased. So Prince Charles will... Be, <laughs> what? Prince Charles will be the King of England 
after the queen abdicates so maybe she will decide that she's had enough maybe she's decided that she wants to just sit down all day and watch television the Queen of England is 94 today 94 years old I wonder what it's like I wonder what it's like being 94 I always try to imagine what it's like being really really old I'm not far off from there by the way I am approaching 94 I can see it in the distance there is a hill in the distance and just above it no that isn't the sun rising that is the number 94 rising behind the hill so I can see it in the distance the trees in your garden are very beautiful thank you very much the trees are nice they are blowing all over the place because we are having too much too much wind at the moment <laughs> Mercedes says you look great as Prince Charles I'm not sure about that yes 94 the Queen of England is 94 years old I am catching her up so I still have a little bit further to go but I am I am slowly catching the Queen of England up with her age hello to Irene who says I like Prince Charles I like him very much he is a person who is very aware of the environment he cares a lot about environmental issues he also makes very nice butter as well and cheese Prince Charles makes lovely cheese I have some of his cheese in my in my fridge in the kitchen it's true <laughs> it is true I'm not making that up I wish I was Prince Charles actually does make cheese and I have some of Prince Charles's cheese in my fridge but please don't ask me to prove it because it's too far to walk hello to real horror stories who says hello mr. Duncan thank you for your thumbs up don't forget if you like this if you like it please give me a lovely big like under this video so you will see there is a thumb that goes like this click on the, click on that please and say oh we like you and I might come back tomorrow and do it again I might why doesn't you hat why doesn't your hat blow away it's because I'm actually undercover so I'm inside my little gazebo at the moment so above my head if you look up you see so I'm actually undercover at the moment ah mr. Duncan ah, thank you for letting us in on your little secret there ah. so now you know so I'm not actually outside myself I'm under cover but behind me that is outside definitely so I'm under my lovely little gazebo at the moment hello also Adrian Floorman hello Adrian the Queen loves Welsh corgis for her 18 for her 18th birthday she was offered her first corgi and since then she has had 30 corgi dogs as I understand it she doesn't have them anymore I think the last one died a couple of years ago so I don't think she still has them I don't think she has corgis anymore but they are very strange dogs aren't they corgis they have very short legs hello to Christina when I was in London I saw the jewels of the royal family it was stunning I was stunned I was stunned by their beauty they were stunning I was stunned stunned so the feeling that you get when you are surprised or amazed by something 
you feel oh, wow stunned so we will describe the thing we are looking at as stunning that thing is oh, stunning I feel oh, stunned stun surprise shock you are looking at something in awe oh, wow I can't believe it hello Henry Morgan what a beautiful garden which is behind a lovely man oh thank you very much is that for me is that compliment for me thank you I just have to make sure that my head doesn't start getting bigger and bigger thank you Henry Morgan nice to see you here where are you watching at the moment Nacious hello Nacious Mathai is she the queen for other countries too she is the Queen of England and also of the Commonwealth which relates to all of the colonies that we used to have many years ago even though we don't have them now because most of them are now independent but you might talk about places like Australia so Australia technically is part of the Commonwealth and that is the reason why you will see the British flag with the Australian flag and also New Zealand as well New Zealand is another place that has a very strong connection with the United Kingdom Tam Bui I can't guess how old you are do you mean me <laughs> you can't guess I'm sure you can guess I'm sure you can guess maybe you can send me away to a special laboratory and have me carbon tested you can date things you see you can tell how old something is by by checking its ability to burn or you can look at something under a microscope and you can you can see what what was around during that time how old the earth was so if you are trying to work out how old something is quite often you can look at it and you can work out from the other things that are around it or inside it how old it actually is <laughs> so maybe you can do the same thing to me I don't know I really don't know Mirella happy birthday to the Queen of England happy birthday to the Queen she is 94 today even though in the morning when she wakes up she thinks oh ugh, ugh. Cap Devi, Mr. Duncan, I need you to make me happy. In addition to the tragedy of uh, the news is disappointing. The crude oil price has plummeted as the stock market is down again. You are right. The stock market completely collapsed yesterday. Well, when I say completely collapsed, I'm actually talking all about oil. So the price of oil yesterday, can you believe it? <laughs> the price of oil has been dropping a lot over the past few days since all of this craziness started because now people don't need oil. However, they are still producing the oil. So every day they they are still producing oil, but people don't want it. They don't need it because nothing is happening. So the economies of many countries around the world have actually stopped. So they don't need oil. And the, because of that, the price of oil has slowly gone down. And it went down so low yesterday, it was actually negative. What that means is the oil companies were actually paying people to take the oil from them <laughs> can you believe that so if there is a lot of oil around if there's a lot of oil in the world and people are storing the oil the price will go down if people are using the oil quite a lot and they need it the price of the oil will go up so it's amazing for a while yesterday the price of oil was actually minus I think it was minus thirty seven dollars which means that if you wanted some oil they would pay you 
to take the oil away. Does that make sense? <laughs> but it, at the moment, I think it's <laughs> I think it went up yesterday. So after a while, the price actually went back up <laughs> to zero. <laughs> so now oil is completely free. So if you want some oil, just phone up. Hello, is that is that oil? Is that the oil people? Can I have some oil, please? Can you send some oil round to my house? Thank you very much. What's that? Oh, it's free. OK, then we'll send me 50,000 barrels. OK, bye bye. Crazy. What a strange time we are living in. <laughs> so the oil was so cheap. They were actually paying people to take it away. Incredible. Apparently, oil is cheaper than water. And there's a lot more of that around. In certain countries, I suppose the stock markets are not so bad and haven't been affected so much. However, the big stock markets, and we are talking about the European, British and also the United States, they have really suffered. But oil has been one of the biggest casualties because no one wants the oil no one wants it we don't need the oil we're not doing anything we're just all sitting around looking out of our windows you don't need oil to do that you don't need oil to look out the window you don't noemi in my family there are three people who are left-handed ah my brother-in-law the father of my son and my sister mika okay so that is a very unusual thing. There are lots of people who are left handed. So they write with their left hand. They, they eat maybe with their left hand. <laughs> I'm really glad you don't know what I'm thinking of at the moment. I'm really am, I really am glad that you, you can't read my mind, to be honest. So you have the ability to use your left hand instead of your right hand. However, some people can use both so they can write with their left hand and their right hand. So they can do do the thing with both hands, <laughs> which <laughs> which is a pretty neat trick when you think about it. So that person is called ambidextrous, ambidextrous. So ambi refers to both. You are like that. You can write with that hand and that hand. You can do anything with that hand that that hand can do. So both of the hands have equal abilities. Oh, oh dear. Pedro Belmont is here today. Pedro, Pedro, Pedro Belmont. Pedro, 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 Pedro Belmont. Hello, JM Rich, Anna Pika. I watched your old live stream in which you and Steve put on some some bad food from the fridge, and you said it smells like the thumbnails of Prince Charles. <laughs> That sounds like the sort of thing I would say, you know, a really stupid thing. It does sound like the sort of thing I would say. Uh, Mr. Duncan, you said that <laughs> you said that <laughs> the food in the fridge smelled like the thumbnails of Prince Charles. I don't know why I said that. Cap Devi. Hello, Cap Devi. You are the best indeed. You made me laugh. A little support for you. Thank you very much for your live donation. Thank you, Cap Devi. That is very kind of you. Very kind. I'm glad to be here. And of course, I will be with you every day during this crazy time. I will be with you every day. We are ambidextrous. So a lot of people can use both hands. Some people can only use their left hand. And some people can only use their right hand. 
to do certain things. Hello, Mr. Duncan from Adwar. Ad Adwar Ahmed is here. Hello, Adwar. Nice to see you here as well. A lot of people here. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. This is an interesting question. <gasps> Can I ask you a question? How long does it take to learn English, in your opinion? In my opinion, you never stop learning English. You never stop. There is never a point where you say, that's it, I have enough English now, I have enough. I don't need to, to learn any more English. You never stop. I never stop. Even now, I can still learn new words. I know it sounds crazy but it's true so even I can still find words or definitions of words or the uses of words that I haven't seen before because English is a big language English takes in many things many places many areas will express English in different ways so it takes as long as it takes I suppose if you want to speak English fluently you have to understand not only the words but also the sentences and also the grammar so those things can take quite a long time but if you are learning English or if you are learning anything you can't rush the process you can't rush that process you, you can't do it it is something you cannot do so I don't like to say that it will take this long or that long to learn English I would never say that in my opinion you never stop learning I never stop learning English I'm still learning English now there are still words that I discover new words that come along that I've never heard of before they are all things that are changing so the English language just like any other language is constantly changing it is constantly evolving it is always changing somehow Tambui says the oil prices were once more expensive the masks but now it is the opposite no one needs oil you see no one needs it everyone has enough oil we, ha we all have plenty of oil <laughs> we don't need any more oil sorry we don't need any more oil we don't need any more no more oil okay please stop leaving it outside my house <laughs> I have enough oil <laughs> hello Noemi a classmate could write with both hands and write also oh mirror writing that is something I'm very impressed by there are some people who can actually write as if they are looking in the mirror so they are writing all of the words in reverse so when you put it in front of a mirror it is the right way round so yes that is that is uh, that is a really good skill I think so do you provide private classes the answer to that is no I don't I don't give private classes if I gave my time to one person that means that many people couldn't watch this because I wouldn't be able to do it so what I like to do is to do this for everyone as often as I can I do it all for free it costs you nothing you can watch my videos you can watch my videos once or a million times it is up to you <clears throat> Ari <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> because I've been using my voice so often over the past few days I think I've broken my voice hello also Mika again when I cut something by knife I always use a left hand however I use the right hand for peeling something with a knife that is interesting yes there are some things that we do with our left hand <laughs> sorry that we do, that we don't do with our right hand so there are there are things 
that we might do with our left hand that we don't do with our right hand and of course the other way round there are certain things we will do with our right hand <laughs> that we won't do with our left hand oh dear Plotina my best friend Mika and my best hand is left I write with the right hand because they made me do it oh I see so maybe naturally you can write with your left hand but they they made you write with your right hand I'm not sure if I understand that on Trum I see the different icon in your channel really I don't know what you mean by that there is a little icon that is down the bottom down there you see so there is oh I think it's actually down there so down there there is a little icon and you can actually click on that to subscribe did you know that so there is a little icon down there and it has my cartoon face and if you click on that you can actually subscribe to my channel it's true hello to Eric Eric thank you very much thank you very much for your lovely donation on the live stream thank you Eric the deepening gloom over the world economy isn't a reason not to share thank you mr. Duncan you are very welcome thank you very much what I'm trying to do during these days is to keep my own spirits up but also hopefully I I would like to think that I'm cheering you up as well we are all in a very similar situation there are things that I want to do but I can't there are things that you want to do that you can't so we are all in a very similar situation Unicarina please Mr Duncan could you use some words or expressions from some areas in the UK for example in Yorkshire people say a hey up a hey up to say hello yes there are many ways of saying hello anyway hello and goodbye depending on where you go in the UK so there are many different ways especially in the north Yorkshire around there there are many words that they use there that they don't use in other places and also in the south of England as well so if you go to the south you might hear expressions sentences or words that you don't normally hear elsewhere but there are many I, I think that would be a good thing to do one day maybe I can make a list of what we call colloquialisms a colloquialism is a type of language word or expression that is used in a certain place or by certain people in a certain place do you like football I don't play football even though I tried to last year with mr. Steve I don't play football no I don't I don't really follow football to be honest I would not describe myself as a sporty person if I was honest definitely not hello to Lil hello Nilton nice to see you here as well Christina I think it is impossible to stop learning a foreign language I have to practice every day for a long time maybe for all of my life you are right Christina but there are things that we always learn I suppose a good example would be your own job so think about your job think about how much your job has changed over the years so maybe your job in the past was easier or more simple and over time things have changed so we all have to learn we all have to expand and the English language is no exception it would be fair to say that the English language is exactly the same it, it is always changing expanding there are always new things to find out and discover about English Adwa what is this this is not the live chat I don't know what you mean by that this is definitely the live chat and I am live from England trust me definitely oh look it's coming up to three o'clock 
in the UK. It is coming up to three o'clock in the UK. Wow, we've been here for an hour already. Belarusia is here. Another one of my classic viewers. <laughs> also one of the moderators as well. Hello, Belarusia. I think the problem with your voice is the hay fever. You are right. This morning, <laughs> I couldn't stop sneezing this morning. I woke up this morning. I, I had a cup of tea. I went into my studio. It's very windy, very windy today. Yes, and I was sneezing. I was in my studio this morning and I couldn't stop sneezing. Achoo, 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 achoo. It went on for ages. I think I must have sneezed about 50 times. So you're all right. Yes, the problem with my voice at the moment is also the hay fever. So because of the pollen in the air, if you if you remember at the start of today's live stream, you could see all of the yellow fields in the distance. And those fields are full of something called rapeseed. And rapeseed has a flower, a yellow flower, and that flower produces pollen. And that is one of the things that I have a sensitivity to. So I'm allergic to rapeseed pollen. And at the moment, there, there is pollen everywhere, especially at the moment, because it's also windy as well. So you are adding even more to my problem so the pollen exists but the wind is stirring up the pollen so it's blowing everywhere so yes Belarusia you are right you are definitely right is there a storm coming there might be however this beautiful weather apparently is going to, to, to stay with us for another two weeks so it looks as if this beautiful sunny weather is going to stay here with us for another two weeks. Amazing. So I must say I am rather enjoying. I am enjoying this. <sighs> is wearing a mask useful for hay fever? Yes, it can be useful. However, pollen is very small. So pollen itself the actual pollen is very tiny very small so if you wear a mask the pollen will still go through so you need to have something that is <laughs> it looks like something that you might wear when you go into space so there are things that you can put on your head that will allow you to breathe easily when you're outside however you will also look as if you are going to the moon and people will look at you so yes, there are things you can wear to help your hay fever. Unfortunately, you will also look as if you are about to go up into space. Talking of which, have you seen the lovely meteor shower? At the moment, there is a wonderful meteor shower as the Earth passes through little tiny fragments of space debris and you might see at night during the next couple of nights you will see shooting stars flying through the sky so last night I was outside unfortunately I didn't see any I didn't see any shooting stars last night I was hoping that I would see some meteors but I didn't I didn't see any but apparently there are supposed to be lots and lots of them so have you seen any of the shooting stars, the little meteors that are flying past the Earth at thousands and thousands of miles an hour. The other thing that people have been talking about, apparently there is also some satellites in space and apparently they are all in a group and every night people are now going outside to look at these satellites so apparently they're all together and they go by together like that 
apparently it has something to do with Elon Musk apparently he launched these satellites and they are all orbiting the earth close to each other and at night you can see them going by so a lot of people in the, in the UK have started looking out for that hello Ari mr. Duncan I recommend you eat some honey I think so he eats some honey in the morning and also onions as well I've never heard of that before I've never heard of onions before Alisa says I can't imagine mr. Duncan wearing a pink spacesuit <laughs> why does it have to be pink I suppose it could be any color if I had a spacesuit I can tell you now it would not be pink it would be purple it would be purple hello study point hello mr. Duncan why why is Queen Elizabeth also the Queen of Australia this goes back to the days of colonialism so in the past I'm not going to get too deep into this because it is a lot of history to talk about but basically our connection with many countries around the world is connected to our colonial times so Australia was once one of the colonies however they have chosen to keep their connection with the UK thus the Queen is also the head of Australia so that is the reason why you might hear people talk about the Commonwealth so when we talk about the Commonwealth we are talking about countries that have a connection with the UK from the past from the days when you might say when Britain ruled the world I wouldn't say that but some people would you see <laughs> I've just noticed there is a giant bumblebee buzzing around me inside my gazebo come on mr. bumblebee can you please go out or else I'm just going to be very nervous please don't sting me no okay that's really distracting <laughs> there is a bumblebee buzzing around just above my head out out go on go on out no that way that way that way oh I don't know what it is why are insects so stupid they really are sometimes have you ever tried to get a fly out of your house there's a little fly have you ever, you ever tried to get a fly out of your house it's so, they always go the wrong way you open the window and you try to get the fly to go out of the window but they go everywhere else you want them to go that way and they go that way no that way that way you <clears throat> hello mr. Duncan I want to ask you a question how long to remember new words for a long time because I often forget you you have to try and recognize the words that you have difficulty with and another thing of course is using the words and also listening to the words being used as well so there is more to it than just one thing there is a lot more to remembering words than just looking at them sometimes you have to read them many times to make them stick in your head hello to Plotina again hello also Duong Tran Thuy hello to you as well <laughs> Asar not seeing any idioms nowadays <laughs> what happened I don't think anything's happened I can safely say that I haven't banned idioms however sometimes I like to talk about other things other subjects so I have talked about idioms many times in fact I have made a whole lesson there is a lesson on my channel all about idioms excuse me <coughs> I just had a little sneeze I'm going to have another one <coughs> hmm. 
<laughs> That's what happened this morning, you see. <coughs> oh dear. So this is what happens when you get hay fever. You can't stop. <coughs> you can't stop sneezing. Ah oh dear. So that's what happens when you get hay fever, you see. When you get hay fever, your nose becomes very sensitive. You can't stop sneezing. Maybe tomorrow I will be... <laughs> Maybe tomorrow I will be in the studio where I won't be affected. Oh, that... <laughs> I'm being really distracted by this bee. Come on, bee. This way. No, this way, you... you... <sighs> Why are bees? and insects so stupid sometimes they really are now this way look there's a big hole here you can come out this way don't fly over there no you can't get out that way this way come over here bumblebee come over here that's it come on that's it that's it he's get no he's gone back Bless you, Mr. Duncan. Thank you very much for that. It's very kind of you to say so. I have some pollen up my nose and this is what happens every year. Every single year I get awful hay fever. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mr. Duncan, you can't stop sneezing. <laughs> that is nothing. That is absolutely nothing. Sometimes I will sneeze for maybe an hour or maybe two hours so sometimes I can't stop sneezing at all it goes on for a very long time don't worry it isn't anything else before anyone says Mr Duncan we are worried about your health it's okay it's hay fever it is definitely not no no it is definitely not that Oh, terrible. Is it good to learn English from newspapers like the BBC? Well, the BBC is a TV station, so they make television programmes. The newspapers or television, wherever you get your information from, wherever you watch movies, wherever you do it, there is no such thing as a bad place. As long as you are learning new things, that is what you want. So, I suppose a good example is... I suppose a good example is this. Because I talk about lots of different subjects. I like to talk about many different things. Hello, Eric. Hello also to... Annie. Hello. Tibetan or Chinese traditional medicine will be helpful if you have an allergy. Thank you, Anna, for your suggestion. Dorota. Oh, hello, Dorota. I, I see here that you have the same problem as me. I always have the same problem in June when the grass starts to bloom. So when all of the pollen is produced by the grass you will get hay fever I know so normally I get it during June and July so that is normally the worst time oh this way come on this this bee is going to be here forever come on mr. bee not up there you can't get out that way you've got to come this way there we go yes 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 this way this way down, no, down, no, no, don't go back, don't go back, please don't go back. Why did you go back over there? Why? Oh, Ed, yes, come on, come on, come on. No, he's gone again, he's gone back. I feel despair the emotion that you're watching now is despair because I really want to help that bee unfortunately the bee 
doesn't want to help itself because it doesn't realize you see it's trapped there is only one way out and that's that way but the bee keeps going that way it's going the opposite way because it thinks there is more light over there so it is actually going towards the light oh by the way today is a special day here in the UK did you know that besides the Queen's birthday it is also Tell us what it is, Mr. Duncan. Today is National Tea Day in the UK. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear the little wren? So that was a wren then singing. Did you hear it? So today is National Tea Day in the UK. It is the day where we all celebrate the UK's favourite drink, which is a nice cup of tea so around the UK today people are <laughs> enjoying their cups of tea and that is what they are doing right now what about you do you like tea are you going to drink a cup of tea to celebrate okay look I have my cup of tea here would you like to have a cup of tea with me Let's all enjoy a nice British cup of tea. Mmm, mm, very nice. Oh, mm. oh, that is delicious. So today is British Tea Day. The day where we all get together and we share our love of tea. And I hope you will have a nice cup of tea later after my English lesson has finished. I know I will. Mmm. hello to Christina hello FC hello also Mika oh Mika says I like green tea yes I know a lot of people enjoy having green tea I like my tea with some milk to be honest so quite often I will have a little bit of milk in my tea quite a lot of people in the UK prefer to have milk in their tea that bee that bumblebee is really annoying me I don't think in my whole life I've ever been so annoyed by an insect that bee is really no not that way you can't get out that way I've just told you that is not the way out <sighs> what a shame oh look I've got something to show you here Here is something that I'm going to show you some words bored. Do you ever feel bored? I know at the moment a lot of people are spending time at home. They have very little to do and you might say that you are feeling bored, bored. You have nothing to do. You have nothing to occupy your mind. So you feel bored. Another way of expressing boredom or being bored is fed up you feel fed up you are bored you feel <sighs> fed up something is happening all the time and now you feel fed up because it won't stop maybe you are fed up of Mr Duncan maybe you are fed up of my English lessons every day oh I'm fed up of watching Mr Duncan every day so you can be fed up, bored. You might also be sick and tired. So this is another way of expressing boredom. You are sick and tired. You are bored with something. Something that's been happening for a long time or many times can leave you feeling bored and you can also say you feel sick and tired sick and tired yes come on this way this way oh, oh i don't know what is wrong with that b but it really is annoying sick and tired i <laughs> i am sick and tired of that b 
that bumblebee will not go the right way go on that's it there's a little gap over there you can squeeze through there no nope. it's coming over here no nope. it's going is going away coming back going away sick and tired I am sick and tired of that bee that bumblebee is really annoying really annoying you can also be a little bit cheesed off by something maybe something that is happening for too long a lot of people at the moment during lockdown are feeling very cheesed off they have had enough they can't stand any more no more please we don't want any more lockdown we are all feeling so cheesed off by it cheesed off that by the way is an idiom that's an idiom look there's an idiom there there is an idiom cheesed off is an idiom <laughs> so there is an idiom today you might also say bored stiff if you feel bored stiff it means oh, I can't do this oh yes this way this way come on mr. bumblebee this way this way no not that way this way yes yes the bumblebee has gone everyone the bumblebee has gone it has left the gazebo Oh, thank goodness for that that bee was really really getting on my nerves so you might feel bored stiff by something something that is making you feel bored you might say oh, oh I can't stand this lockdown it is making me bored stiff bored stiff <laughs> you might feel bored you might also feel jaded by something something that bores you something that is no longer interesting or something that is not fun anymore can leave you feeling jaded a little jaded I like that word <laughs> you can be bored to tears I can't stand this lockdown it is making me bored to tears I, I can't stand any more it is making me feel bored to tears bored to tears I know this is not very positive but I think it's a very interesting subject all the same yep. something that leaves you feeling uninterested so a boring thing something that is boring tedious something that goes on for too long can leave you feeling uninterested you feel uninterested I don't want to watch this anymore I don't want to watch Mr Duncan anymore because I feel uninterested it isn't very interesting I'm bored I'm very bored with Mr Duncan it's so windy today I can't begin to tell you how windy it is I think I am risking my life at the moment doing this I am risking my life I hope you realize that I'm risking my life here you might be dispassionate oh I like this word by the way to feel dispassionate means you have no feelings towards something you are uninterested in the thing that is happening you feel dispassionate so that is another way of describing the feeling of being bored I suppose so boring and this is where a lot of people make mistakes when they are talking about something that makes them feel bored so you feel bored by something however you describe the thing as boring so you can see here we are using the adjective boring so boring describes the thing that is making you feel bored this is boring this live stream is boring 
so you are using this as an adjective boring some people do get confused with those two words <clears throat> the feeling that you get or the feeling that you might see in another person bored so once again we are using an adjective here bored you feel bored oh I have nothing to do I'm so bored you are saying that you feel bored and that is the adjective you might see another person and maybe they look bored so maybe they are sitting or standing and they look so bored oh what's wrong mr duncan you look bored you look bored so in that sense we are using an adjective a person can make another person feel bored as a verb you can bore a person so if one person is being boring in front of another person we can describe that person as a bore they are being a bore or in this sense as a verb you bore someone so I am making you feel bored you might say mr. Duncan you always bore me bore so that is the verb you are doing it you are doing it you bore someone because you are uninteresting dull you are a boring person because you bore other people you might say I feel bored I feel bored if you feel bored then that means whatever it is you are doing or maybe you are doing nothing because quite often doing nothing can make you feel bored I feel bored I have nothing to do I feel bored the thing that is making you feel bored maybe another person you might say you are boring so if another person is not interesting maybe you find them uninteresting they are a person who doesn't make you feel excited they don't make you feel interested or excited you might say I'm sorry I hope you don't mind but I really do think that you are very boring you are a boring person you are boring <laughs> what about me am I boring do you feel bored by me would you describe me as a bore this is boring boring so again you might describe your lesson maybe you are sitting in the classroom and you are not interested in the lesson you might say this is boring it is so boring it is making me feel bored so you feel bored that thing is boring an activity that you don't want to do Rakesh says mr. Duncan your diction is very clear thank you very much a lot of people compliment me on my diction they say mr. Duncan you have a lovely diction thank you very much Duong is going oh bye bye Duong see you later Duong I have a feeling you might be in Vietnam am I right see you later Duong thank you very much for your company today a lot of people have been here today joining in with the live stream thank you very much is there something that you are good at do you have a special skill is there something that you can do very well do you have a special ability 
I like to think that I am good at teaching so I think one of my abilities is teaching so what about you do you have a special ability something that you can do very well maybe you play a musical instrument something that I've always wanted to do but I can't so that is one thing that I can't do something I can't do is play a musical instrument any so I can't play any musical instrument not at all thank you Sergio thank you also Massimo is here as well something boring it is something that also drags on oh I like that one yes so if something is going on for a very long time and maybe you feel that it is uninteresting you feel that it really drags sometimes time you might say that time sometimes goes by very slowly so if you are doing something that seems to go on for a very long time or maybe you are sitting at home and you have nothing to do you might say that the time drags drags if the day seems to be going on for a very long time you might say oh today oh what is happening today it seems to be dragging the day is dragging it is going by so slowly it appears to be going by slowly because you have nothing to do so quite often when you have nothing to do time goes by much slower it takes much longer for the day <laughs> to come to an end if you are doing a lot of things maybe you are doing things that make you feel excited or happy or something you are very interested in then quite often you will find that time will fly it will go by very quickly time flies when you are having fun that's what we say <sighs> you might be bored by something or you're bored with something so being bored by something means that thing is affecting you if you are bored with something then it is generally what you, what you feel towards it so I'm bored with it I am bored by it so one is coming towards you I'm bored by that I'm bored with that so when I do that it makes me feel bored when that is there in front of me that makes me feel bored the thing is causing me to feel bored I feel bored with that this is the first time that I've watched your channel and I like your answer style thank you very much it's very kind of you to say so I try my best I don't know everything as I always say I am just a human being I'm another person just walking around on this planet trying to make the best of this flash that we call existence that is all I'm doing just the same as everyone else Adrian asks a very interesting question this is something to do with culture here in the UK do you still have a milkman coming each morning to your door to bring your fresh milk in glass bottles as it was in the past some people still have milk delivered to their doors in the morning around here there some of my neighbors still have their milk delivered so there is a milkman who comes every morning and he will deliver milk around the neighborhood and yes the milk is in glass bottles really I'm not joking so the milk is actually in glass bottles he comes every day he doesn't come here because we don't have it so we don't have our milk delivered we never have it delivered however some of my neighbors do have their milk delivered every morning and can you believe it it is delivered in milk bottles just like the old days 
apparently more and more people are now having their milk delivered to their houses again so not not because of lockdown but generally generally people are starting to have their milk delivered again thank you adrian that is a very interesting question sergio says i am bored by being bored with a boring being yes sometimes being with a person who is boring can leave you feel very bored a boring person who makes you feel bored can be a very boring experience it really can you're right i agree entirely hello annie master i am a teacher too but i'm not professional i had to study to be an english teacher we have no teachers here it is a problem at the countryside or in the countryside hello annie well at least you are a teacher and i hope you enjoy teaching as much as i do it is a great job a lovely career a great thing to do ahmed says i am going to make a cup of tea to celebrate national tea day because today in the uk we are celebrating that lovely drink the drink that many people like to have in the morning some people have coffee in the morning yeah i don't know how how can you have coffee in the morning i always have a lovely cup of tea when i wake up in the morning so yes we are having national tea day lots of people are drinking tea to celebrate the lovely drink that always cheers you up hello Luis Luis Mendez nice to see you here thank you very much for coming on today nice to see you back Ali says Mr Duncan when I wake up in the morning and I do not find my name in the list of rich men <laughs> then I get up and go to work oh I like that so every morning when you wake up you make sure that you are not a millionaire let me just check I'm just going to open the newspaper and I'm going to have a look and and maybe during the night perhaps during the night I've become a millionaire no it looks as if I'm going to have to go to work again I know what you mean I know what you mean Ali Ivan says learning English with Mr Duncan I have never felt bored thank you very much Thank you very much Ivan that's very kind of you to say thank you very much around the world we we often have special days have you noticed that so quite often around the world we will have a special day for one thing or another thing we will have a special day so here in the UK today we are celebrating the beautiful drink that is tea but quite often you will have other days maybe you will have international coffee day where everybody talks about their love of coffee or maybe you have international flower day where people talk about their favorite flowers hello to partridge eaves oh hello there mr duncan i have a thought today well done is better than well said yes quite a lot of people talk about doing things however they never do it they talk one day I'm going to do this one day I will be a famous astronaut one day I am going to paint my kitchen one day I am going to travel around the world talking about things is not the same as doing things so there are people who often talk about doing things however they never do it and there are other people who think about doing things and they do actually do it mr duncan what is your favorite newspaper i do not read any newspapers <laughs> that was easy that was a very easy one to answer i don't read newspapers i do look at various types of media on the internet and also on television so I like to read things that are educational such as encyclopedias I love my big dictionary 
I have a I have a really big dictionary. Have you ever seen my dictionary? It's a really big one. It really is. Plotina, Mr. Duncan, I like English tea and also a sandwich with cucumber and cream. I don't like cucumber because it gives me indigestion, unfortunately. So unfortunately, sadly, I cannot eat cucumber. I can't, I'm afraid. I don't read the newspapers. Uh, I, I often watch TV. I do watch television news. However, I don't just watch one one channel. I watch lots of different channels. So sometimes I will watch BBC. I watch I will watch the BBC news for the headlines and information. And then sometimes I will watch Russia today. So there is a Russian TV channel that has a very good news service called Russia Today. So I watch that sometimes. There is also another one that serves the Middle East called Al Jazeera. So I do watch Al Jazeera sometimes as well. So quite often on these channels, there are very interesting documentaries about things that you don't normally hear about. So I do like watching different news channels. However, I don't. I don't <laughs> buy newspapers I don't not for many many years mr. Duncan where did where is the sound of the old rusty gate I mean the pheasant I don't know where the pheasant is at the moment I think I think at the moment the pheasant is with his girlfriend and I think they are preparing to have some children so I think the the male pheasant at the moment is busy maybe preparing to raise a family maybe but no I haven't seen the, the pheasant for a long time I haven't seen the pheasant for quite a while I don't know where he's gone I'm sure wherever he is I'm sure he's having a lovely time I think so in Italy, we celebrate Liberation Day on the 25th of April. I, I will be very interested to find out how you do that because today we are, it is, it's the 21st today. According to my watch, it's the 21st. <laughs> so in four days time, you will celebrate Liberation Day. It will be very interesting to find out how your country will celebrate that particular day. Because quite often on Liberation Day, it is or Independence Day. Many countries also celebrate Independence Day as well. So it'll be interesting to see how your country does that. Wh whether or not there will be lots of people outside marching, waving their flags and having all sorts of celebrations. So that will be very interesting. It is very windy today in case you haven't noticed it is very windy here Dorota says we have a cup of coffee or tea at breakfast time in Poland we usually drink coffee with milk and tea with lemon or raspberry juice I like this Wow Wow I like that milk with tea or lemon or with raspberry juice wow do you know what i've never thought of that before raspberry juice with tea hmm. i would imagine that's quite nice i would imagine that that is quite a delicious thing to have yes hmm. you've made me very interested <laughs> to find out what that tastes like i might do that later on I might have some of Mr. Steve's herbal tea and I might put a little bit of raspberry juice in the tea. We will see. <laughs> have you ever read the novel written by Tolstoy 
called war and peace <laughs> war and peace is one of those amazing books that takes a long time to read because it takes place over a number of years <laughs> it almost <laughs> it almost takes a number of years to read it Giovanni Al Jazeera got very famous during the Gulf War in the 1990s says Giovanni I do like watching different TV stations especially news stations or news channels so I do like Al Jazeera they have some very interesting documentaries on there sometimes and also Russia as well Russia Today is another news outlet that I do like watching quite often there are some very good documentaries so they do carry they carry a lot of very interesting factual programs and also documentaries Ivan says I have a question what is the difference between tired and bored tired can be exhaustion so maybe your body feels exhausted you feel tired something that makes you feel exhausted is something that makes you feel tired you feel so tired of course you can also be tired of something so you can be tired of doing the same thing but that doesn't mean you are physically exhausted it just means you are bored with it so you can sometimes use the word tired and bored as synonyms so to be bored to feel tired of something I'm tired of this I'm tired of sitting here in front of my computer all day I'm bored with those things so the word tired has more than one meaning more than one meaning Gidley hello Gid oh giddy 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 malash hello to you what is the difference between read a newspaper or watch TV for the news well reading is something you do actively you are doing it so when you read something you are actually doing something that is active if you watch something it means you are doing it passively so if you watch television you are just sitting and you don't really need to do anything when you watch television when you read of course it is active because you are having to do something you are doing it you are reading the words you are reading the sentences on the page or in the newspaper so that is an active thing watching is something you just do passively you watch the news you watch television you watch your favorite film you are just sitting and you are watching so it is quite a passive thing you don't really need to do much when you're watching however sometimes you will watch something because you want to get some information so quite often you will tune in you will switch on your TV and you will watch your favorite news channel so you watch the news to get the information you read the newspaper for the same reason you want to get some information however the activity is a little different it is a little different Sergio says I like BBC Radio 4 and also BBC Radio 4 Extra it is a kind of cult for me Radio 4 BBC Radio 4 has a big following not only in this country but also around the world so that is one of the reasons why the BBC is so well known around the world because people around the world like to listen to the BBC I like a big cup of coffee without any sugar after lunch says Noemi I can't drink coffee in the morning I always find it amazing that some people can wake up in the morning and the first thing they do is have a cup of coffee I think that would be too strong 
When I wake up in the morning, I feel very sensitive and delicate, like a little flower blowing in the breeze, like today. So in the morning, I don't like to have coffee. It's too strong. It's too, it's too, too much. It's like being punched in the face. <laughs> so in the morning, I prefer to have a cup of tea. That's what I like to have in the morning. I like to have a cup of tea. I will be going soon. You have 10 minutes. Here is your 10 minute warning. <coughs> Mr. Duncan, give me some best ways to learn English. How much time should I give it to, to learn English? You should learn English every day, practice every day, learn new words every day. Every day is the word that you have to remember. When you think about learning English or learning every, anything, learn every day. You have to make time to learn new things. You can't just learn English whilst walking around or going to the shops or at work you have to find time you have to make that time and quite often when you're learning something if you want things to stay into in your head you want those words to go in here you have to spend time doing it so maybe an hour every day maybe an hour twice a day but the key word is every day every day tea with with raspberry jam it sounds yummy yes raspberry or black black currant it sounds very nice i might try that later on because mr steve he loves his herbal tea he really does like drinking herbal tea so I will be very interested to find out what that tastes like. So I will try it later on. I will try it later on and see what happens. I will let you know tomorrow. So ask me tomorrow. Mr. Duncan, did you try the tea? Did you try the herbal tea with a little bit of blackcurrant or raspberry? And I will tell you if I liked it. Mizuki, do you know me, Mr. Duncan? I like cheese too but I don't like cucumber it is not tasty I I I like vegetables very much there are certain vegetables that I can eat and some that I don't like some that I really don't like cucumber I don't like cucumber Ugh, horrible horrible Adrian says when you did your live stream in 2017 you always sat in front of your computer and now you prefer to stand in front of it when you do your live stream so how did you change your mind with time well to be honest I've always <laughs> I think my gazebo is going to blow away I think I'm going to fly away like Mary Poppins. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually holding on to my gazebo because the wind is getting worse. It is getting stronger and stronger. I've always liked standing up always for all of my life. I love standing. I always feel more comfortable when I'm standing up. However, in my early days, when I started doing my live streams, I used to sit in the studio in front of the computer. However, after a while, I realized that it was making me feel unwell because my legs <laughs> would go to sleep because the blood would stop flowing around my legs. And I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of having dead legs. So I decided that I would prefer standing up. So over time, I started to stand up more during my live streams and now I always stand up because I feel more comfortable I think it it gives you more freedom you see because I can I can move around like this so if I stand up and and if I want a little dance I can you see I can just have a little dance
You see, you can't do that if you're sitting down. You can't have a dance when you're sitting down. It's impossible. So I hope that answers your question in a very long way. Koran Kareem is here. Nice to see you as well. Life blogger. Hello, life blogger. Nice to see you with us as well. I like learning English. The world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you enjoy learning English. And of course, I will be back tomorrow. Don't forget, I'm back tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time. I'm back again. I'm here every day, every single day until all of this is over. As soon as the lockdown ends, as soon as the world goes back to normal, then I will stop doing my daily live streams and I will go back to my usual three times a week. But until then, this is what I'm doing every day. So I will be back with you tomorrow. I will be back with you tomorrow. Beware of the wind, Mr. Duncan. Please don't fly away. <laughs> you must put some stones in your pockets. Yes, that's a good idea. Maybe I can I can nail my shoes to the ground so I am fixed in place. T Jiang Lu says I love you. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. I was asked yesterday if I ever use WhatsApp. I don't use WhatsApp. I use it very occasionally with my family. So maybe I will get in touch with someone through WhatsApp. However, I also have Facebook as well. So my Facebook address is under this video. So at the bottom in the description of this video underneath, you will find my Facebook page. So I do have an official. Yes, official. Ooh, my my Facebook page has has the official blue tick. Mr. Duncan, you have a blue tick on your Facebook page. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why. Hello, Palmyra. Hello also to Anna. I love the way you move, Mr. Duncan. You make me laugh and feel happy. Thank you, Anna. That's very kind of you to say so. Thank you. Don't forget during this strange period of time. Don't forget what I always say. Oh, 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 my poor back. Oh, oh, every morning, every morning. I feel so stiff. You are not alone. Don't forget you are not alone during these strange, weird, unusual times that we are all living through. We are going through a very strange time. Would you say that this time is very weird, unusual? Don't forget you are not alone. We are all experiencing very similar things. Make the best of a bad deal. Try to look on the bright side. See things positively. You might find that there is something that you can do. Something you can learn during these strange times when you are in lockdown. Make the best of a bad deal. Sometimes you have no choice. Sometimes you have to do it. You have to do it. Look on the bright side. As I said, always try to look on the bright side of life. Do 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 do. Always try to look on the bright side. There is always a positive thing to find. Even though there are no clouds in the sky today and there aren't. There are no clouds above my head, unfortunately. So every cloud has a silver lining except here because today we don't have any clouds. There are no clouds at all. <laughs> every cloud has a silver lining. If you look closely, you can see it. You can see. The silver lining. Finally, yes, there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is always a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. 
there is always something positive ahead even if it is very far away in the distance there is light at the end of the tunnel I promise it will all end things will return to normal and we will all be together again we will be able to reach out our hands and touch our family and friends again remember you are not alone and that is it that is all from me for today i hope you've enjoyed today's very long live stream another two hours has come to an end <laughs> however if you really want to you can click on me tomorrow and i will be back with you from 2 p.m uk time if you feel like clicking on this man if you feel like clicking on my face you are more than welcome to do so and of course i hope you will also stay happy keep smiling and i will be back with you tomorrow from 2 p.m uk time we are sharing this weird time we are sharing this strange time together ong says this is the most beautiful season in england and europe well i do like this time of year i really do enjoy the spring and also early summer i always like this period of transition as one thing changes to another we call it a period of transition all of the the leaves come out on the trees all of nature wakes up again so yes i do like this time of year very much thank you christina thank you unicarina thank you lewis thank you adrian i am going into the house now i will be having a cup of tea to celebrate national tea day thank you very much rhs thank you lan <laughs> life blogger please answer my question well i i, I haven't seen your question <laughs> if i see your question i will try to answer it so what is your question what will you read what i write <laughs> I will but what is your question I need to see your question you see no oh I see <laughs> maybe I can answer your question tomorrow <laughs> because I can't find it on the live chat <laughs> thank you serene thank you very much Lena oh hello Lena I didn't see you hello Lena thanks for joining me do you do you have the sickness that I heard on the news no I don't I don't have I don't have that but I do have hay fever and that is all the pollen going up my nose unfortunately thank you very much though there, there you go that's answered your question I've answered it I've answered the question I am not sick ill unwell or dying <laughs> you'll be pleased to hear however I do have a little bit of hay fever which is making me sneeze thank you very much thank you to Abdullah thank you Mika see you tomorrow it is just after four o'clock here in the UK this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English which is England this is where English started right here in sunny England it's true thank you very much yes it is now four o'clock here in the UK it is just after four o'clock and it's time to go see you tomorrow and have a good day enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like it please give me a nice big thumb underneath click like thank you very much for that Thank you Lewis Vitas 
thank you very much for your lovely company i hope this has been fun and i hope it has been useful see you tomorrow 2 p.m uk time and of course you know what's coming next yes you do ta-ta for now